Hey guys, just wanted to do an update on the planted nano tank. It's been set up for two weeks now and I'm really impressed um, and surprised by the amount of growth I've gotten um, with the baby tears. I was kind of expecting a potential disaster and having to kind of rethink um, the kind of foreground plants I was going to have in this tank. but. Um, They've ended up growing really well. I'll try and get a better shot. There we go. So if you go back and maybe take a couple seconds to look at the first video I did the weekend I set it up, um, you'll be able to see just how much it's grown. Um, it's spreading a little bit, but mostly it's just filling out. I'll try and get a close-up shot of this. The light kind of washes everything out, and the iPhone's not great, but there we go. That's better. So yeah, they're really filling out um, and staying pretty, pretty close um, to the substrate, which is what I was hoping for as well. And it's really filling out at the side here too. Um, there's kind of a glare from the window, so I can't show you too, um, too clearly on this side, but yeah. When I was trimming them, I kind of uh, dislodged these two here from... Uh, the substrate, so I had to weigh them down again, unfortunately, but um, this uh, substrate's really bad for planting plants in. It's really light and it shifts really easily and um, even once the roots take a hold of it, it'll still float because the substrate's not light enough or not heavy enough to um, hold it down. So that's my complaint with that. Um, what I'm the most impressed about so far is that this grass in the back, um, it hasn't grown much taller, but it's starting to, um, there's two clumps of it here in the back, it's starting to shoot out uh, runners, and these ones actually went underneath the driftwood and are popping up here and there in uh, the baby tears, and I think that's really cool. I think it'll end up uh, giving the scape a more natural look, and um, so I think I'm just gonna pretty much leave things alone in here, let them go out and um, see what kind of um, scape develops as I just kind of let things uh, go naturally. I did trim the hygrophilia back a bit because it grows so densely that I was afraid that some of the new growth um, coming up from the center of it would kind of wither and die. Um, as far as the baby shrimp, they're getting really big. Um, their growth was mostly accelerated um, when I first noticed them, like when they were just microscopic little things swimming around. Um, but they're getting, they're getting really big and some of them are really deep red and some of them aren't. Like this one over here by the rock, but if you see this one over here is kind of transparent. So, um, I don't know if that'll change the bigger they get or if it's just going to be, um, I don't know what happens when you breed shrimp. I guess some of them are, are nicer than others, which I guess is probably how people um, breed different color variants and stuff. But there's one of the parents up there. Um, so you can see, I think that's uh, the female. So she's a lot uh, deeper red than, than the male. I'm not sure where he is right now. But, yep, yeah, so, um, really pleased with the growth so far and really excited um, that it's come this far in just two weeks, so um, by the end of the summer I'd imagine that um, it's going to be pretty lush in there. So, yeah, thanks for watching guys and I'll try and bring you an update next week um, so we can see how far it's come. Thanks for watching.